Hey guys. How's it going everybody? Today, I'm super excited to bring you the Ace Toys exclusive Green Hero. Now, I'm sure you guys are like, who the fuck's the Green Hero? Well, Ace Toys doesn't have a license to legally sell Power Ranger merchandise. But, after you guys see this unboxing, you're gonna be like, why the fuck not? Because we are. Okay, I'm sorry, I am. I don't understand, but you'll get it here momentarily. Now, the box is very plain. Right. The back of it's black, there's nothing to show on it. The front of it is just, it says the classic mighty superhero, CMSH06, Green Hero, the fact that it's a 1-6 scale figure, uh, and Series A leads to believe maybe they'll bring us some other Power Rangers. Alright, they'll go down the, the line. Absolutely. Uh, other than that, it's <clears throat> it's kind of the uniform of the Power Rangers, the diamond uh, etched into the, the front of the Power Rangers, and it's kind of like battle damaged. Other than that very plain box, uh, I understand the fact that they have to be very careful on how they uh, market. Market, thank you. How they market their product. Uh, so it is going to be a very plain box. So, since there's nothing more to see there, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Well, just isn't that awesome? I mean, look at the detail of it. Now. There's some of the thing, or, or not some of the things, there's something here that normally doesn't come with the Ranger, but uh, we'll get into that more here in a little bit. So it comes with six hands total. It's got the two hands that are connected to him, uh, where he can hold the weapons. The sword, when he's the evil Ranger, and then the dragon flute, uh, which he uses to summon the dragon sword. Then it comes with two clenched fists and it comes with his plain hands and what I mean by plain hands for any of you Power Ranger fans know he comes with the dragon flute and he plays the dragon flute to summon the dragon zord and we'll get into more detail on that here in a minute uh, we will show you a close-up of the weapons and everything but uh, we wanted to kind of show you him in general right. okay well, I think let's go ahead and uh, dig in and, and have supper. So, what do you think we should look at first, Mike? The main, the main dude. The main dude? Alright. Let's get rid of the hands and the stand. There we go. Now it's just the figure itself. The best thing that I love about this figure, and when I saw someone else with it, I had to have him. And it's also the same reason I've been collecting Mezco toys, is because of his uniform. Now, there's a bunch of plastic into his uniform, but the suit itself is a type of fabric. And that's what I love. You know, it's kind of like a spandexy, stretchy fabric. You know, it, it comes right back. Um, and it, it goes from neck all the way down into his boots. And I know this because the boots, this portion here, and this portion here are not one solid piece. So, if you look down in there, you can see the uniforms in there. Let's de deform our Tommy and take a look at some more. The other thing that I love is we'll move his arm out of the way. It comes with a pleather holster, and this fits his green dragon dagger. Now you guys have seen the Lightning vs. Legacy, so you know what that dragon dagger is. If not, click on this card and it'll take you to that video. Come back, that way you know what I'm talking about with the dragon dagger. But this pleather sheath holds the dragon dagger. And then we have the independent plastic gold cuff up here on his arm. And then the Power Ranger gloves, which again is identical to the boots. There's two separate pieces, so you can move this up. It's a little bit tighter on the wrist, 
than it is on the boot down here. So it's hard to move it up, but the, the clothing does go down into the wrist. And then you can replace the hand with one of the other hands. Now, this is actually one of the coolest thing about this figure, is every single hand comes with its own joint. So if you break a joint, you have replacements. And I know. Who would break a joint? This idiot. There is actually a warning that comes with this guy that tells you to take a blow dryer to any joint before removing it. It also says to take a blow dryer to the hands before you try putting a weapon into them. Because what it does is it softens the plastic. You pull the joint out, you put the new joint in, and it should give the plastic time to harden again around that new joint. Making the joints crisp, stick into place, you don't run the risk of breaking a joint. And in the hands, you soften it, you can put the weapon in there without damaging the fingers or the weapon itself. And again, the plastic will harden and hold it better. So the other thing that I like about him is the dragon shield. Now, on his chest, you're going to notice that there's two arrows on the left and right side. And Mike asked me, what are the arrows for? Because he recognized that the four symbols should all be the same, just different directions. I'm willing to bet Ace Toys changed that to prevent from being sued. Because like I said, they don't have the license to sell Power Rangers. Right. And this is damn near the Power Ranger. Hasbro, if you're listening, I know you right now hold the license to MMPR. Work them in, guys. Imagine if they did this amount of detail on this, what they could do for the rest of your line. Get with Ace Toys, you won't regret it. Mike, what do you think about the figure? You know, um, I really like him. I like the belt, how it looks like the Morpher is supposed to look. Uh, you know, the Green Ranger was never my favorite when I was a wee little lad. Uh, but yeah, he was really cool. I like the, all the articulation and stuff he's got in him because he is one of those high-end collectibles. Um, I think one of the things I don't like is how weak the ankle joints are. Like, I'm not like, oh, he probably won't want to stand up on his own just because... Yeah, we, we actually have to play with it a little bit right. to get him to stand on its own. And that's where we'll talk to you about the stand uh, a little bit more after Mike's told you what he's thought of it. I mean, it's a really cool design. The helmet looks really good. As far as I can tell, it looks pretty spot on the helmet anyways. Yeah, like I said, the only thing I noticed that was kind of off was the, the arrows. And it's supposed to be whatever, I'm guessing, Greek symbol that is on his chest. But yeah, I'm not quite sure what the symbols were. They never went into detail on the show. And, uh, you know, I, I haven't looked into the comic books or the books themselves, so maybe that I'll go into detail. Or... If you guys know, leave it in the comments below. Yeah. Educate us. I'm a huge Green Ranger fan. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. All of the Green Ranger stuff we've done is because that's his stuff. Absolutely. Now, one complaint I do have is the Dragon Shield. The gold pads that he has on his shoulders is there's a scene there in the original show where the Green Ranger's losing his powers to prevent from losing the dragon sword and the dragon shield altogether, he gave what last power he had to Jason. And then Jason was able to wear the shield. So what I'm trying to get to is I would love to have been able to take this off of him. So I could have him maybe without. Yeah, see Mike's trying to look and I did. I did look to see if there's a way. The problem is is there are plastic straps underneath the arm of the figure that connects the front of the shield to the back of the shield. Yeah, if you were gutsy enough, you could probably cut them, but... Not that gutsy. And the arms, I'm sure you could detach them, but the suit is completely sewn on around the arms. So even if we were to pop the head off to take it off that way, we still have these gold straps under here to contend with. So there's no way that we could take this off to display him without it, or because 
Ace Toys did come out with the entire starting lineup, ranging from the red all the way to the white. So it would have been cool to pull it off to put on another Ranger. Now, Ace Toys did make up for that while smartly creating more toys or more collectibles to collect by creating a red and black ranger hero. Thank you. The red hero and the black hero with the dragon shield. And both of them, I assume, come with the flute. I wasn't lucky enough to get them. I am going to try to get the full set, though. So, uh, genius marketing, but I would have loved to have been able to take this off. Mike, anything else you want to... Anything you don't like about this? Uh, other than the weak joints and the ankle? No. It, it looks really cool. Um, maybe the seam they did for the suit kind of makes it look like he's got a butt crack. And I cannot believe I didn't point this out. Mike did. Great eye. It was the first thing that I noticed when I opened that box is his morpher. The detail on it is phenomenal. We're going to try to zoom in on it as close as we can so you guys can see what we're talking about. Phenomenal detail. You know, it really is the Power Ranger of a new generation. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the right choice. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Anyway, but yeah, that is the Ace Toys Green Hero. Now, let's get into some of the smaller details, and uh, we'll get rid of him for now. So, uh, he's got two, two weapons with him. The first one is the Sword of Darkness, which sounds like a sword from uh, Skyrim or something. But uh, it was when he was the evil Green Ranger. It looks really cool. It's got a nice design on it. The edge looks really good. Handle looks well designed. I don't see any painting errors. There's a little bit of sculpting problems, but that's not that big of a deal. And then you've got the obviously the the dragon dagger, which is really cool. Uh, you know the the whole flute aspect of it. And that's uh, his traditional weapon. They did really well designing it. You can see all the the metal working and all the notes and stuff on it. So, but that's really cool. I'll let David give you more detail about them. So Mike was absolutely right about the name of this sword. It was the Sword of Darkness, and this sword was presented to Tommy Oliver when he was an evil ranger by Rita Repulsa because he was meant to lead Rita's army before the rangers turn him good. And this sword originally belonged to Zordon, and Zordon gave it to his rangers 10,000 years ago, and his rangers lost it in a battle to a monster called Nasty Knight. That monster then presented Rita with this sword as a prize, you know, kind of a, here, your, your highness, here's our, our battle winning. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about this, Mike, you're absolutely right. The sculpting of this is beautiful. The imagery of it is exactly like in the show. Except for one thing, and only someone like me would notice. The other one had a fringe coming off of it. And this one does not. So I would have loved to have seen like, a fabric fringe coming off of this, just so it's show accurate. But other than that, everything else about this sword is show accurate. The molding is fantastic. There's no weak points in it. Uh, the blade looks clean. It even has the etchings everywhere. Uh, and it's, it's just a, a beautiful sword. In fact, I only like one other weapon in the series better. And it's the Power Rangers Blaster the Mega Blaster, where they combine all their power weapons to form it. Maybe we'll show it to you at the end of the show. But uh, yeah, the Sword of Darkness is definitely cool. And then there's the Dragon Flute. 
love this sword. It is definitely really cool, and it coolest thing about it is it summons my favorite sword, the dragon sword. And just like Mike says, the etching on it is just beautiful. You know, I wish that there would have been a little bit more gold on the back because there were definitely more notes on the back of the blade, but the front of it is perfect. And then there's also the green inside the blade um, between the flute and the dragon blade itself, which is perfect because the show shows the same thing. Then you've got the dragon coin in the center of it, which is pretty awesome as well because, again, detail on such a small thing is phenomenal. Then you've got the part that uh, he blows into. Uh, the only thing that I, I think would have been cooler is if it maybe sloped down a little bit more instead of being blocky. But something this small, you're just nitpicking at that point. Right. I do love the keys here. Uh, another thing that I wish they would have done, because they, I know they can do the smaller details, is if they did the smaller details on the butt of the sword there. The pommel. The pommel, thank you. But for the size of the the blades, fantastic. I would have loved to see maybe some type of sheath that he could put this in. Uh, so if you want to have him just in a fighting stance with both blades on his hips, that would have been cool. Or maybe uh, the sort of darkness on his back or something. But again, nitpicking. Great figure so far. Now, the next thing that we need to talk to you about does not come with the Ace Toys figure, and it should have especially because of our biggest complaint, the weak ankles. So, let's get it up here. There we go. Now, this stand does not come with the Ace Toys figure. And like I said, like we said, due to the weak ankles, you definitely want to get a stand for this guy. It's difficult for him to stand on his own. Now, you could go out there and get a stand from Amazon or a stand from, you know, collecting sites. Yeah. But none of them are as cool looking as this. Typically you've got a pla black platform and a claw that'll go around the waist. This thing is virtually invisible when placed right. And then you have the added bonus. And the bottom is the dragon coin which I believe is just an awesome feature of this stand. Now, one of the biggest problems I had about this stand, and the maker of it actually agreed, so he's creating a new version of it, it's the version two, which is a inch bigger in diameter, which will definitely take care of the problem I had. And that problem is placing him on it because you have to fit this black bar between his legs, so he straddles it, so you kind of have to have his feet close together on this platform, or his feet spread way apart, so he's straddling the platform. With an inch bigger diameter, it puts the platform out a little bit wider, so it gives you more to stand the Ranger on top of. That's water displacement. And, you know, there's several different ways you can do it. If you want him straddling it, you definitely can. You just move the ball down. Because his legs are going to be spread apart, his crotch is going to be lower. So you can lower this to grab the crotch better. Now, if you squeeze his legs together... Crazy. <laughs> so if you spread his legs apart, you can set this lower so it goes right between his legs and holds him up. Now, if you decide that you want to put him on the platform, all you have to do is raise this up a little bit higher because his legs are going to be together, he's going to be standing taller. And I can tell you from experience, you really don't see this clear bar here. So it really does look like he's standing on the platform which takes care of the weak ankles, gives more to the display of the collectible, and come on, just how cool is that dragon coin? 
Now, I bet you think we're done. Not yeah, yet. Something else to take care of. Something else we want to show you. Something else that normally isn't here. And it's perfect because I love the Green Ranger. So, this is the Green Ranger bandana. And it's really cool because, you know, everybody wears masks because of the virus. The pandemic. There it is. Uh, so you can either have it as a full one, or you can have it as your half mask. Like such? Uh, but the really, really cool thing about this is on each corner it's got something specifically related to the Green Ranger. Like the, the Z uh, insignia, the helmet, the dragon sword, dragon coin down there. And it all matches him. Now each bandana, they make several at uh, the, the this guy's store page. You can find each one of them is specifically designed for that color. So the, the Red Ranger will have the uh, T-Rex. The T-Rex pop right there. Well, not a paw print. Uh, it's the T-Rex outline, and then up here is the T-Rex Zord head. So each one will be specifically designed for each ranger. Now, the guy that made these, and like Mike says, he's got all five of the core rangers. He's got the green ranger, the sixth. He's got the white ranger, the seventh. And he's got Lord Dracon as well. I have picked up the green ranger and Lord Dracon, uh, and he has the other rangers. All of them are done in a glow-in-the-dark glow material. The bandanas are a good, sturdy material. And the uh, design on it is a good, sturdy uh, printing on. And all of this brought to you by Hinch and Bolt. Now, you don't need to remember these names, you know, Hinch and Bolt or Rocket Jump for the stand. All you have to do is scroll down in our description. There will be a link where you can go to pick up this bandana specifically and to pick up that stand specifically. And you could check out the other things in their stores, such as the other bandanas or any other things that Rocket Jump might sell. But let's go ahead and put this down. And let's refresh your memory on what everything looks like. All right, well, here he is in all his glory with his cool stand from Rocket Jump on top of the cool bandana from Hessian Bolt. Brought to you by Ace Toys. Definitely get it. We'll leave a description below to Ace Toys' Facebook page if you guys want to check them out and see what other Rangers they may come out with. Um, they are a manufacturer, not a retailer, so you'll actually have to find a different store that sells the Rangers. Uh, we got ours from HK Hobby, which is a store in Hong Kong, uh, and Ace Toys is also located in Hong Kong. But type in Ace Toys, the uh, Classic Mighty Superheroes, or the Green Hero Ace Toys, and you'll find shops that have them. So uh, we definitely recommend you picking them up. I'm going to give him four and a half thumbs out of five up because weak ankles are just a unforgivable curse in my book. But other than that, I think he's fantastic. Really, if you really, really like the Green Ranger or any of the Rangers, pick one up for yourself. Definitely pick one up. I have to give it five thumbs up out of five. And I know even with that weak ankle, if I could, I'd give him six thumbs up out of five. But we decided to keep things fair and even. So with the weak ankles, the detail is just immaculate. I love the armor and the weaponry, so I give him five out of five. Good job, Ace Toys. Keep it up. Now guys, there's one more thing I have to bring up. We finally did it guys. We hit a thousand subs. And because we hit a thousand subs, so on October the 7th, we are gonna be doing a giveaway for a set of four Funko Pops from a very popular anime. 
Now we're not going to tell you what that is right now. To figure out what it's going to be, you have to put the clues together. Maybe. And where are you going to find these clues? Well, there's going to be a clue in every single video between now and the ninth. What you're going to have to do is find that clue and comment below on that video what that clue is. What you think the set may be. Every comment that you leave in those videos gets you one entry into the drawing for the set of four Funko Pops. So be sure to subscribe. Be sure to click that little bell. You don't want to miss anything between now and the ninth. Because I'm telling you right now, even the worst Funko Pops, you're getting four for free. And all you have to do is comment. So, for now, we're going to let you go. But, as always, thanks for playing with us. Stay metal.